This is Twit. Okay, so my app, um, I did not record B-roll for this. Uh, so, Burke, you can just show the Play Store. But um, a lot of people are really excited that the app Citra Emulator for 3DS, Nintendo 3DS games, is out. Now, this has been in the works for years. Uh, and it's finally been released. If you wanted to, you could have, you know, gone to the Citrus site prior to now. Maybe they had it uh, on the Play Store in some sort of beta format. I'm not really quite sure. But it's there. It's an early access app. Uh, there's a free version as well as paying $4.99 to um, get some access to some extra themes, theming of the app, which is kind of a, a light option, but also um, also includes some uh, visual kind of upgrades um, you get additional texture filters for kind of enhancing the visuals uh, in the games. But this is all about Nintendo 3DS and emulation of 3DS. So, you know, the, the standard kind of rules apply. Uh, make sure that you're only using this to play games that you actually own, that you have the, you know, that you have the ownership of. Uh, but... Uh, everything that I've seen and everything that I've read says that actually Android phones play Nintendo 3DS games pretty darn well. It includes uh, a hit CPU compilation. It includes asynchronous GPU emulation, a whole lot more. A lot of little settings in there that you can tweak in order to kind of uh, you know improve the speed, stretch out the sound to kind of make things a little bit smoother, stuff like that. You do get support for game pads. And when you do that, you can actually remove the on-screen gamepad overlay. So you can do the touchscreen gamepad approach if you like, but you can remove that and sync it up to a gamepad if you have it. Also supports the, the on-device uh, cameras, microphone, and accelerometer, which is nice because some of the 3DS games tap into that and they've routed that to the Android device. Uh, performance. Uh, from what I've seen, is very good for um, for these games, and uh, so I'm curious if you guys you know check it out, what you have to say about it. Uh, it does have a number of screen layouts, so you can either make because you know the 3DS has two different displays, right? So you can either make the main display like take up the full screen, or you can set it so that you have the two displays equally side by side or top to bottom, or you can have the secondary screen be like a smaller display and then a larger main display. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it only works on 64-bit Android devices, Android 8.0 and up. Uh, so it's you know part of the part of the challenge here was making you know a Nintendo 3DS emulation smooth enough to play. And if you have a modern smartphone and 64-bit uh, smartphone, you're going to get great performance. However, I am seeing reports that people with Exynos processors are not having as good. Uh, you know, good results as you might get with like a latest Snapdragon uh, processor. So check that out, uh, you know, based on on your device, your mileage may vary, but it's called Citra Emulator. And I'm going to say, I'm going to spell that for you because it's really important. C-I-T-R-A. If you go onto the Play Store and you do a search for Citra Emulator, very likely the result that comes back is a dupe, is like a, 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 um, I don't know, an app that's pretending to be the same app that's called Citro. So they put an O at the end. That's not the right one. It's the one with the the lemon. I think you see in it. Uh, I think so. Is that? Oh, sorry, I've got a small. Yeah, that's it. Citra emulator early access. You might get a different result that that throws you to Citro emulator. Maybe Google has already rectified it. Um, but even when you spell out <laughs> Citro emulator one word, it was still going like automatically to that other one. And that one's full of ads and it's someone else just pretending to be this. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're on the right one. So it's Citro emulator. The developer name is Citra emulator. And uh, I don't know if you're a fan of the Nintendo 3DS platform and you have legally acquired games, then uh, you should check this out. And what do you know? Your Android device can now play three Nintendo 3DS games. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that you can even do this with a smartphone in your pocket. So very That's pretty cool. Yep. Citra emulator. All right. Also Flo, shows you got the, the next shows, oh. shows the value of good app store optimization in your title and your app name. If someone else stole their traffic. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Although, um, Wojo in chat uh, is reminding me, put multi-word names inside double quotes. That almost always gets me to the right app. I'm going to try that real quick here. I bet. Yeah, I, but that's, well, hard. that's hard for regular users. Yeah, Citra emulator in quotes. And yeah, I mean, it takes it right to the top for me. So, But I've installed it, so maybe that's throwing off the algorithm a little too. So anyways, there you go, Citra emulator. Check it out for yourself.